we are going to see how to use uh, the angular CRUD generator in order to create angular applications with CRUD operations. We have to develop two different projects. One for the backend that we are going to develop it with sales and uh, one uh, other project for the front end that we are going to develop with uh, angular CRUD generator. The project that we are going to create is called uh, Customer Management. We have to create it with sales. It is already created. Uh, for the sales project we have to Overwrite uh, one blueprint. One blueprint. The blueprint called uh, find. We have to overwrite it because uh, with this version of the blueprint uh, we can paginate uh, properly. After that we have to install uh, the Lodas package. and we have to uh, set up some uh, parameters uh, of the configuration of sales. Migrate to alter and we have to update these parameters to allow uh, requests from different domains. After that we have to create uh, our entity that is called customer and finally we have to set properties for our new entity With this, we have already finished our backend. We are going to run our application with the command sales lift. Our backend is already finished, so we have to create uh, our front end. To create it, uh, we are going to use uh, our uh, generator angular CRUD. This command uh, creates our skeleton, the skeleton of our application. Uh, we get a problem uh, installing uh, our npm package so we have to install them manually okay now the system is going to install our uh, package from npm once uh, the package uh, has, has been installed, we have to create our entity, uh, our entity customer. We have to create the same entity that we have cre uh, already created uh, for uh, our backend. So we have to create an entity and after that we will have to uh, set properties for this entity.
uh, we will see that we have to create a name, address, a state, and uh, country properties for for our uh, new entity. Uh, the system is already installing uh, our package. Uh, our generator, uh, Angular CRUD, has a subgenerator called uh, Fiatur. And this is the subgenerator that we are going to use to create our, uh, our entity. So you have to use your Angular CRUD Fiatur Customer. Okay, it is already installed. We have to to open our project with uh, Atom, with our editor, and we have to set the properties for our entity through this file. In service, customer for client service. By default, the generator creates uh, uh, two properties, and now we have to create two more. We have to use the same properties that you, you that you uh, uh, we used uh, for our backend. We used the property name, address, and no state and country. And finally, we have to update our view view list. That by default the generator uh, creates uh, two properties. We have to add two more properties: state and country. Okay, with this uh, we have already finished our front end. To run our uh, project we have to type uh, gulp, uh, gulp serve dep and this will run our application uh, with our uh, customers section. We can enter here and from here we can create uh, new customers, we can view them, we can update and remove. We are going to create uh, two customers. We are going to create uh, a new one. Uh, our customers uh, appears in a table form. Uh, from this table, we can filter for each property. You can see that we can filter. We can we can sort. We can already sort our our entities. We can view. We can view them. We can already update this uh, the properties of our entities. Okay, we can see that uh, it has been updated, and finally we can remove our entities. Okay, we have seen that with uh, Angular CRUD generator, we can we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, functionality, uh, and uh, we can create uh, very easy uh, entities uh, that allows us to uh, to. Uh, to do different operations, CRUD operations as create, uh, remove, update, and uh, retrieve uh, records very easily.